Okay, Breaker Broke 23, this is part two of uh, the CB radio in an RV installation. In this RV, I wanted a CB that actually got out when I was in camp. And uh, you could put uh, mobile CB mounts on the side. You can do all that kind of stuff. I've seen people put them on ladders, roof racks, but that just doesn't work. They just don't get out. A couple miles here or there, maybe. I wanted something that I could actually DX off of. So this is what I came up with. So I'll start with the antenna. Okay, I have a, a Solar Cond IMAX 99, new old stock. I've got a 10 foot chunk of galvanized pipe. This is inch and a half outside diameter. And what I did is I didn't, I didn't want to put any mounts on the RV or anything like that. I don't want to create any possible leak issues or anything like that. So what I opted to do was actually use the bumper here as a standoff. And uh, this is working out pretty good. What I did is I took a hole saw and I went through the top and bottom portions of my bumper here. Um, generally, um, you'll put the sewer hose through here because it's closer to the dump. But what I'm going to do in this case is I'll just pop the other end off and put the sewer hose in from that side. So that issue is actually not an issue. Um, the hole's a little bit larger than the pipe and I did that so when you're walking around in here and the trailer's moving around, even if you're on jacks, you know, it's going to move a little bit. And so there's play in there. So that situation is taken care of. I've got an 18 foot chunk of Belden RG8 Mini running to it. And what I do here is I have my little access area right here. What I, This is uh, the only part that is not complete in this installation. I'm putting a, uh, a barrel connector right in here. And it's called a bulkhead connector or through the wall type uh, barrel connector and um, I'm gonna have part of it sticking out here and then I'll have a little rubber nubby on there and then what I can do is when I go to set up the antenna I just take my coax and screw it into here currently I have it installed I'm using I'm out of barrel connectors so I'm using my watt meter for or a SWR meter for a barrel connector I have really good SWRs checked at the radio um, from 1 through 40, they're averaging a 1 to 2 SWR, which is really good. You go out, out of band, and uh, they climb a little bit, but uh, I don't condone that. So, anyway, what I'm going to do here on the final installation when my part comes in, I, I've got a Drake TV 1000 filter that I'm going to put in right here, a TVI filter. I'm going to use a little foot uh, and a half jumper, and then that's going to screw into here, and then this outer coax can screw into here that's going to be really nice i'm going to use a tvi filter because in camp i don't want to disturb other rvers um, the um, rvs are really prone to tvi um, or should i say rvi get it rvi anyway radio interference um, the speaker lines that are in most of these rv act as an antenna and so when they get back to the cheap uh uh receivers that they're putting in here for stereo receivers um sometimes you get um interference from CBs going into RVs. So anyway, that's why I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got inside. Okay, so inside the RV, I have a Top Gun Quad 5 set up here. Uh, our refrigerator was in here, but it, the RV refrig bit the dust. So we have a household refrigerator in here. And then, of course, I had this area for bread and uh, potatoes and stuff in here. I thought, well, why not utilize this for the CB? Um, easy access to all the 12 volt wiring, and as you saw, the coax drops down there quite nice. So I've got room for an amplifier and power supply if I want to do that, and I more than likely will. And um, I'll feature that in another video. Okay, so we'll take one last look from the setup outside. Okay, so that's what she looks like from outside. Nice clean setup. And it'll operate more like a base now instead of a lame mobile type antenna setup. I've actually already DX'd off here. It works pretty good. So I picked this antenna uh, 
for a couple of reasons. A, it's easy to put together and uh, erect and take down. And then uh, second reason was these uh, sticks, generally I don't like them for base station operation, but they work really good from about 10 feet to about 30 feet off the ground. You go up any higher, it doesn't get any better. You go down lower, it starts to affect the performance, but these things don't mind being closer to the ground. So 10 feet off the ground works perfect for this. Okay, when I'm ready to leave camp, I just unhook the coax, undo the U-bolts up there, and uh, pack it all away. I just pack that uh, in the back of my truck or I'll put it on the roof rack of the Suburban. Okay, I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Let's go camping.